All right. So the last video cut off. So lesson number one, make sure you're connected to the internet and not using Wi-Fi when you do live streams on Friday that are going to be longer than 15 minutes. So hopefully, I know there were some people who are live on that one. Hopefully y'all will find your way over here. If not, you can catch your catch the replay and watch it. But we're going to keep on moving because that's what I do. All right. So I don't remember exactly where I was, but I know that we identified the foods that were going to be tempting to us and what feelings and thoughts that those foods would bring up. So now I want you to write down what you plan on eating at this event. So we know we're going to a specific event because we're talking about one specific event. If you're going to multiple events this weekend, do this exercise for each one. Yes, take the time to do it. And um, write down what do you plan on eating at this event. If anything, you don't have to eat, right? You have that option to go to an event and not eat. Yes, you can do that. That's amazing, right? So I also want you to write down, what do you plan to drink at this event? So if you know they're gonna have your favorite wine or your favorite alcoholic beverages or is an open bar or whatever, graduation party, what do you plan on drinking at this event? Are you gonna take your one liter water bottle and just sip on that the whole time? Or are you gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna drink wine. I'm gonna have a cocktail. I'm gonna have a beer. What is it? Make the decision ahead of time. Oh, that's what I was talking about. The power in being able to make a quick decision, right? We initiate, we, we eliminate so much mind drama and so much energy when we can make a quick decision. So before I was talking about um, when you're in the restaurant and you're trying to decide what to eat and you're like, should I eat this? Should I eat, shouldn't I eat this? Shouldn't I eat this? Should I not eat this, right? That is just mind drama and energy. Make a decision. Hey, Niambi, what's up? So um, learn how to make a very quick decision. All right, here's the other thing we're going to write down. This may be applicable to you or not. So remember the first challenge that I talked about was going to an event and feeling like somebody's going to say something to you if you decide to eat out of your normal thing that you normally eat, right? So you go to auntie's house and she's like, oh, I got my potato salad, honey. Here, here's my potato salad. Or you go to a church fellowship and they're like, oh, you know, you want some cake. And you're like, no, 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 thank you. No, thank you. I don't want to eat any cake. And somebody's going to give you the side eye, right? Or you believe somebody's going to give you the side eye. I want you to write that down. Think it through. Like, is there a certain person who's going to say something? Is there someone who is going to have an opinion about you, what you're doing, who's going to have a thought about what you're doing, who's going to have a comment about your choices. Write that down. I have one client, every time she goes home to visit her family, she wants to stay on plan, but she has the hardest time staying on protocol because her and her sisters are used to eating. Like that is their way of showing love to each other. That is their way of like, socializing and so she's like oh we went out to eat and you know so we got to work through that right but that's a very common thing the next thing I want you to write down is after you write down um, hey Lisa what's going on after you write down what you think that person is going to say what you think they're going to comment on I want you to write down what you think they actually might say to you right just write it down and humor yourself, right? What you think they might say to you. Because like I said, we have a tendency to blow things up in our head and make these stories of what we think is going to happen, what we think somebody's gonna say. And then when we actually write it down, it seems really, really silly, right? And you can diffuse that very quickly, right? And so remember, um, I want you to also think about how that comment would potentially make you Feel. And this is a hypothetical comment. So if you're getting all like anxious and you're starting to get angry and upset about this comment that you have made up in your head that nobody has even said to you yet, you realize how silly that is, right? And that immediately, hey, Mr. Dash, what's up? That immediately diffuses um, what is happening. Okay. So again, for those of you who just joined, I'm walking you all through my very specific worksheet of how to handle 
social eating events since this is the weekend, the unofficial kickoff of summer. And we got happy hours to go to and barbecues to go to and brunches to go to. I'm going to brunch tomorrow with my girlfriend. I'm very excited about that. So I just want you to be aware. So again, writing down what's up here, getting it out of here and putting it down on paper just really helps you to become aware of what you're thinking and what you're feeling when it comes to these challenges that we face when we're going out to eat socially, right? Very, very, very simple. But we don't take the time to do it. And then what happens? We go into the event unprepared and we end up doing everything we say we're not going to do. And then what happens? You wake up the next day like feeling regretful and remorseful and be like, I can't believe I did that. So here's my favorite part. I want you to write down how do you want to feel at this event? So instead of just walking into the event and just letting whatever happen happen, I want you to really think about how do you want to feel at this event? How do you want to feel when you walk to your walk into your girlfriend's barbecue, right? And you are sticking to your plan, you're doing what you say you're going to do, just like when I was telling you guys a story in the other video that cut off about how I went to the networking event and I left the networking event feeling like, oh, you know, I just felt amazing, right? So how do you want to feel at this particular event? And then once you like really think about that and really feel the feelings of how you want to feel, I always like to um, think about my stomach, right? So my stomach was always like the barometer of how much food that I ate or how much I overate. And when I wake up in the morning, I like to feel a flat stomach. I don't like to feel bloated in the morning. I don't like to feel heavy and I don't like to feel sluggish. When I feel bloated and sluggish and heavy, that means I overdid it the night before or the day before. So in the morning when I have like, Ooh, my stomach feels nice and flat. That means I did good yesterday. So I always like to think about and embody how do I want to feel the next day. So once you have that written down, make the commitment. Y'all know I talk about being 100% committed all of the time. No eating plan, no diet, no weight loss, nothing is going to work if you're not 100% committed. Period. I don't care if you're doing paleo, keto, low carb, Atkins, South Beach, Weight Watchers, no watchers. <laughs> whatever. It's not going to work if you're not committed to it, right? Because you're going to keep backsliding and doing the old things. So when you make that commitment, I want you to just like feel it and just write it down and say, I will intentionally choose to feel what? Finish that sentence and write it down. And I know it's taking a long time to go through this. When you actually sit down and go through this worksheet, it doesn't take that long. 10 minutes tops probably five if you write quickly. It doesn't take that long. But think about how much mind drama and how much time we spend going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth about what we're going to eat. Okay, so that is my success plan part of it. Social eating success. So if social eating is something that you are struggling with, I want to talk to you about it, right? Because I can definitely help you. So this is just one piece, one strategy, one tool that I teach my clients when it comes to losing weight and learning to stop dieting forever, right? So just imagine your first event, it may be a little bit difficult to write this down. It may be very uncomfortable to actually stick to it and commit to what you say you're going to commit to at that event. But remember, on the other side of being uncomfortable is success. And success in this situation is actually you getting to your goal weight. So I do 60 minute free strategy calls with people who are interested in learning how to stop dieting forever, women specifically. Um, and we talk about it. We'll say, look, what, I ask you, what are your challenges? What are your goal weight? What is your goal weight? How much are you trying to lose? And we see if this program, if coaching is the next best step for you. For some of you, it's not. For some of you, it's the great, perfect best step. And I just want to talk to you and give you some tips and see if that is what we need to do next. So thank you all for joining me. Happy half hour. 
on this beautiful Friday. I'm so excited. I'm about to kick off the weekend with a big old glass of water. <laughs> I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Remember, if you're watching the replay, just type replay in, type in your questions, or send me a private message, and I'd love to connect with you. Now, we will back, be back here next Friday at 5 o'clock for Happy Half Hour. See ya!